come to this presentation, you can see on this architectural plan, you can see some structural columns are not aligned with the wall of the building plan successfully. So this is a case that structural engineers do encounter sometimes. And so we are going to be studying these architectural plans, understand it and be able to create a structural plan that we can further take it to proto structure to carry out the analysis and design of all of the structural elements in this building successfully. So stay tuned, stay connected as we make progress. At first, we will be looking at the ground floor of this plan. You see, here is the ground floor of this plan. And then whenever an architectural plan is sent to you, you should be able to take the plan and place some areas of concerns on the plan. Like on this plan, if you check between the first floor and then the second floor, you will see some area of concern. All right. Now here we have a gallery here. Over here is a vault. All right. Over here is a vault. Okay. And we have a gallery here at the first floor here. All right. Now coming to this plan, we have a kind of a wall running on this. So here is the position where we have a gallery, which is a vault. But we are not having a wall running right there. That simply means we should be having a beam here. Okay. And then for if you get over to the third floor, because this is actually a six story building. All right. So if you go over to the third floor, simply means at the second floor, there are the columns that will take up the rest of the floors will be resting on these two beams successfully because we are already having air as fall. So the columns that will be taking these beams cannot be sent to the foundation because here is vault and it is open. So that is the case in this uh, plan. Okay, so we are going to be understanding this shortly and then we'll be able to produce a structural uh, plan that we can use for our structural analysis and designs of the elements. Okay. So why these columns, structural columns, comes out of this uh, library provisions at the second floor is because of the differences of the second floor plan and the ground floor plan. All right. So the same thing applicable to the first floor. Okay. Over here is now gallery. So the walls here doesn't continue. All right. That is why we are having these columns right here. So since they wouldn't want this structural column to protrude the laboratory. That simply means what we are going to be doing is to use a beam to transfer the load from these columns, okay, to where we have a wall, where we now establish another columns, okay. So we will be having a lot of cantilever beams in this design, okay. For staircase, we have two staircase system in this uh, building, okay. So we have uh, over here. This is a uh, uh, open well staircase design system with a lift here we have one lift we have over here another staircase here this one is after all right you can see this after staircase system successfully in this uh design you will really enjoy this particular design we will be doing okay in the subsequent video when we will get into the uh, modeling analysis and design software successfully okay so stay connected as we proceed so now let's go if you come over here there are some cantilevers i want to bring to your notice at the ground floor we are having this line see this line is a cantilever line all right so this line is actually showing as a line at the ground floor all right but if you come to the first floor you can see it is being produced as a wall okay so the cantilever okay proceed from this first floor okay to the last floor all right so coming to this first floor in this uh my left direction you have also a cantilever line here if i should dimension this cantilever you will notice that uh, some of these cantilever are really quite uh you know much like this one if you should take this cantilever over here the detail is shown very clearly okay so this cantilever we have over here is 2.1 meters all right so this one is about 900 millimeters okay so these are the things we are going to be looking at and how we can produce a structural plan okay as we make progress so over here if we come down we see this is the structural plan of this architectural plan successfully which is what a structural engineer is supposed to produce okay 
producing a structural plan consists of you creating the panels okay so this structural plan consists of panels all right so this is it for the first floor okay and we have it for the second floor and as well for the third floor if you check on this uh, second floor you can see the beam system here okay so this beam system this beam system in this area is going to be carrying a structural columns okay to the rest of the floor so if you come over to the third floor you can see the structural columns here this one right here so this is a structural plan okay that will be used but we are going to be creating something like this very quickly here we see the elevations of the structure the architectural elevation sent to me alongside with this uh architectural plans successfully so for me to start producing a structural plans what i will do first is to take notice of my cantilevers all right i will take note of my cantilevers so over here at the second floor level i have a cantilever here which we have already produced a word here okay the cantilever from this point to this grid lines okay we have this cantilever here okay so and i also have this other cantilever here okay so these grid lines you see are being created by the architect and this column points is the architect that actually placed them so i will have to rearrange it in a way that it can support the building okay through the test of time so i will have to copy this one now because this consists of all the cantilever i actually wanted okay there's a cantilever here and there's a cantilever here okay so i will copy this plan see oh and the keyboard to copy i'll take it here all right so this is my working plan okay which is the plan i'm going to be using for my structural design because it contains all the cantilevers okay because before you should move your plans to other analytical software you should be able to produce a grid lines in all the respective places that you actually needed a grid lines all right so if you check here you notice this line does it have a grid line all right you see the lift wall does it have a grid line you can see this a particular wall does it have a grid line as well okay so we are going to be doing that right away okay so what i will do now is uh i will pick on a rectangle right here so i will pick from this point where i have this cantilever all the way to this point all the way to somewhere here yeah, yeah, i'll just place this here okay so after which i'll do offset an offset of 2000 should be for my grid line termination point i'll offset this just like this this is where i want my grid lines to actually stop okay so having done this now i can now delete this original line right there and i start to place the grid lines this is the grid line so i will just have to copy this from here just like this to this point so that i can give that point a grid lines okay also this wall should have a grid lines just like this you can see then i proceed to give this uh this particular wall that consists of the lift okay so this one will have a green line i'll arrange this later okay to arrange that you do a line and then just pick two points along the wall just like this select this and then um, enter to move and take this here all right so this is being centralized i need another line here so i'll select this particular one enter pick this and then place it here all right so i've created a green line along the lift uh was okay so now this provision needed a green line as well i'll do a line and then pick two points right there then take horizontal green lines from anywhere and then i pick that there all right okay so having done that coming over to this other side i'm having a green line here already i'm having a green line here okay all right but these green lines are not centralized that that is another thing you need to check you have to make sure the green lines are at the center of the walls okay except where it is special that is uh that provisions you may uh, consider to place it maybe halfway all right so i need a green line here as well as well so i'll copy it from here and take it to these provisions okay there is also going to be a green line that's supposed to align these green lines are not aligned at all okay so you have to make sure that they are aligned so during creating a structural plan as a structural engineer you have to pay more attention pay a close attention to what you are doing and you can see not all of these walls are necessary there are some walls that are not necessary okay you can cut a panel over these walls like this one you don't need a green line on it you can easily cut a panel across it okay okay so uh 
At this point, we will now look at the columns, all right? We'll look at the columns. Since we know that we have a cantilever here, we don't need any columns here. So for these columns are being shaded, okay? The columns with text to protect structure or other analytical softwares doesn't require shading. So select these columns and delete it up, all right? So you now have them in this format, okay? So this is what protest structure would understand as columns, as you can see it over here. So make sure you assign layers to this column, assign layers to the green line as well, okay? As grid as you can see over here, all right? These are things that are very necessary while you are creating your structural plans, all right? So having done with this, we may not necessarily need the dimensions because having seen our column spaces are quite very much okay. All right, but the column sizes may not be the same. We'll get to know that at the time of analysis or after analysis. All right, so these lines you have to make sure you get rid of any lines that is not necessary. Okay, but for the beef lines, you can as well leave these beef lines. Okay, but the structure may not necessarily understand it. What the structure understands is the grid lines. Okay, that you have assigned name as grid and as well the column you have assigned name as columns right there. All right. So at this point, you have now to check the plans critically to see if there is any provisions that you actually needed the column to be placed successfully. Okay, so if you check very well, we notice that we need a column here at this point, right? We also, we need the columns here at this point. We will need also a columns here. So this line does not have a grid line. That is why even this uh, wall, this two wall, this one and this one doesn't have a grid line. That is why I said earlier, you have to check these things okay carefully so you i'll select this green line copy from this point all the way here okay and then this one i will copy from here to this point all right so we need also a columns here okay so i will pick one of these columns right there and then i'll take it here to place these provisions placed in these provisions Okay, I will have to check the distance between these two points. So I will know if I will actually place an intermediate uh, column right there. Okay, so I will need a column here as well. So this column will be here just like this. Okay, and then I will have to do a dimensioning between these two green lines. I'm having 4.5.5, about 5 meters right here. Okay, 5 meters right here. We can decide to place another columns here since this is about this is about uh, six floors. So I will pick this point from this point to this provisions. I will centralize a column here. So this column, the sections are not really matters for now. You can just assign a section to it. It is what you are going to design. You can see three seven five millimeters. Okay, bye. 300 millimeters okay these are the column sections being assigned by the architect okay so that is not really matter we will look at that as we proceed into the design so if i have one column here as well i'll need another column right here so i will pick it from this point up to this point i place that right there i will have another one here because this column are necessary very much necessary so they are the column that is going, going to carry the floors okay the other floors over this uh, fault here yeah, all right so this uh i will remove this column because it's too closed with this one you can check the distance as well so what we are preparing okay this 3.3 what we are preparing just like this is the structural plan okay so now i can see my panels i can see my panels so the all of this point the all of this point could be one panel so this other point could be one panel and so on all right so from here i will be extending these grid lines to touch the border line so i make sure all the grid lines touches the border line i can select the border line first extend this just like this okay so we have to be sure that all the grid line touches the border line after which you carry out trim okay so you can select the border line do trim on the keyboard and then you can be able to select to trim all of that just like this just like this just like this okay after which you delete the other line so you have this as the structural plan 
having the understanding that as she model this you will have to you know incorporate the cantilever wherever they are supposed to be okay so having done with this we will delete all of this uh, dimension line we don't have need for it for now all of the dimension line get rid of that okay so here is the structural plan we are going to be using to carry out the design of this building okay so for the design of this building we will do that in the next video so subscribe stay connected to get the plans this one this plan the link in the description of this video you get all of this plan like this to follow up this presentation this is six floors and we will proceed to use five foundations okay to design the foundation aspect of this building successfully because the soil is very very poor all right otherwise we could have reused uh raft on beam foundation okay so from here we proceed in the next presentation don't forget to get the plan through the link in the description of this video